A year ago today, we sat down with a newly sworn in Nico LaHood. Many say that his story about redemption was what resonated most with San Antonio voters. A year later, we sat down with Nico while he was on vacation with his family and asked him about the challenges this year presented and also the new challenges he sees for the coming year. If you're given an opportunity with structure and accountability, the sky's the limit. So what would you tell the guy that sat here a year ago as a piece of advice? I'll get ready for a wild ride. It's been an incredible year. It, really what I expected, I knew it was going to be challenging coming in and having to change a culture, truly change a culture of a large organization after being under one ideology and mentality for 16 years. I know that doesn't happen overnight. And I knew I had to do that by being consistent in my behavior and my leadership role and then leading by example. So. No, no real surprises other than bureaucracy. I mean, I don't do well with bureaucracy. I'm, I, don't, I can't stand politics, and I know people look at me like, what, you're in politics? But I really don't look at it that way. I can't stand politics. It's about people. This is a passion for me, and I conduct myself accordingly. So I'm, I've been accused of not being politically correct, and they're right, I'm not. I'm just going to speak what's on my heart, be consistent about it, and transparent, but also lead by example. And that's what I think we've done this year, and I think we've had some really, really good results in one year. So what's your biggest success this year? What are you most proud of doing this year? I don't know if it's most proud of because there's so much. I'm proud of, of seeing that 400 employees come together as a family. I mean, there was, I think, a lot of doubt. There was people that said, can't wait for Nico to take over and let's see what happens. There was some that's like, I think this guy's full of BS. It's all politics. And that's just reality. And there was some that just said, I don't care who's in there, but as long as it's someone different. And I get that too. But I think over these 12 months, I think people have seen consistency. I'll make myself available, and like I said, I'm, I'm there. Big cases that I think a lot of people were keeping an eye on to see what your office did were the officer-involved shootings. Lady Justice wears a blindfold. I have zero intent or motivation to protect anyone other than Justice, Lady Justice. And truth and justice has no bias. It sometimes falls on the side of law enforcement, sometimes it falls on the citizen accused and we dismiss cases that people that we feel are innocent. We haven't acted any different in any one of those cases. We acted the same, we preserved the evidence, we preserved the process with the grand jury, and I, I've really spent a lot of time trying to educate people on, on grand juries. So I hope people saw courage, decisiveness, and then also consistency on how we behaved and acted. This time next year, if we sit down again, what are you hoping okay, to tell us that was your biggest accomplishment for the year? The whole time, my goal is going to, you're gonna see consistency in this office. Transparency, consistency, someone that's not afraid to do what's right, and then also talk about it. Stand by a decision, but then explain why I made the decision, and then let the chips fall where they may, and then we can agree to disagree. Please. Okay. Let, 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 uh, share, share, share. Personally, how have you balanced and a new baby on the way? How are you balancing all of this? I, I save time by not shaving. No, I'm just doing this this week. No, I, I mean, it's my wife. I mean, she, she runs a household. I mean, I. I get home and I take instruction and I help out. She's a super mom and a super wife. And so I'm blessed. I come home to a peaceful home. It's a noisy home, but it's our peaceful home. There's no drama here other than a seven, a five and a three year old going bananas. The family is expecting their new baby in two months. Jamie Virgen, Fox News at nine.